Okay, so last insight of this week, number five insight. Um, remember I pick five if you are new to watching these, because I do have a few new subscribers. If you're new to watching these, I pick from Come Follow Me this week, I pick five things that I think might be really helpful after I've prayed about it, of course, after that might be really helpful to maybe inspire and uplift you. Um, and often I get messages of, oh, it's just what I needed today. So I'm like, cool, I know that I prepared that for that person. So if none of these mean anything to you, then they probably do to someone else. Or, you know, just wait for the one that means something to you. Yeah. Okay. So section 70, verse 15. Um, verse 18 is the one that links up with... Um, oh, lost here. Can't even remember. Somewhere back. Um, 68.6 links with 70.18 because that's the sort of the cap end of that part of it because these are all given at the same time, same sort of conference, same month or sort of November 1831. Um, so this is what sort of the topic is. You know, things sort of blend together there. But we're going to look at verse 15 um, which says, talking about diligence, now this commandment I give unto my servants for their benefit while they remain for a manifestation of my blessings upon their heads and for a reward of their diligence and for their security. Uh, verse 13 is talking more about what the blessing is. That it's given more abundantly. If, you, if you're a good steward, and we just talked about stewards in the last one, stewardship. If you're a good steward and you're diligent, the abundance is multiplied through manifestations of the spirit and it says that in verse 13 so it's not that the abundance is multiplied in chocolate biscuits or you know, although if that's what you need i guess but it's it's about manifestations of the spirit as in you will feel more faith which is what increasing your faith wow look we just tied it all in clever that eh so it's about increasing your faith. You will feel it more abundantly. If you're a good steward, you will feel the spirit more abundantly. Therefore, you're increasing your faith. That's what President Nelson asked us to do. That what? Helps us overcome fear and move forward. Stop looking back. So it all ties in. Cool, right? Anyway, so diligence. Because you've got to be a diligent um, steward. So what does diligent, uh, what does diligent mean to you? Ugh, mouth. Diligence is to be steady, devoted, have energetic effort in accomplishing a job or assignment. So it's not just about being all energy, it's also being steady and devoted. And it's not just about being steady and devoted, it's also about having energy with it, like putting, you know, something into it. Doesn't mean you've got to be Tigger bouncing off the walls energy, but put something into it. It's not just a, oh, I've got to do this. No, you get to do this. Yeah. Um... So diligent people are people who do what is asked without reminders, takes care of all the little details. The Lord rewards this characteristic with an increase in faith and spiritual experiences. Want to increase your faith? Be a diligent steward. There you go. He takes care of us all, yet those who put in the effort find their needs are always met. Now, I just watched Tipping Point today. It was a really good example of this um, the Lord watch over, watches over all of us, but those who put in the effort, their needs are always met. Now, there's a, there's a, a priest on this. It's a game show. Tipping Point's a game show, for those of you that don't know. And he did win the $10,000. Um, that is the main prize. And the host said to him, oh, I think someone else was involved too. You know, thinking like trying to hint that God was on his side. And in fact, he said someone else was on your side. Um, and... It's, it occurred to me that people think, oh, he was on the priest's side and not with the other three contestants. And I'm like, well, no, that's not true because the Lord is with all of us. He's on all our sides all the time. He's with us and he's not going to be with one so they can win and not with the other three so they can lose. There might be a greater purpose, and whatever the priest is going to do with the money is probably irrelevant to the eternal perspective of the world. But it doesn't mean that the Lord was with him and not with other people, or that God was with him and not with other people. So as far as being diligent and having this, and it, you know, to you're not going to say, oh, he only takes care of the diligent, and that is pushed too much, that you need to be a certain way, before the Lord's going to step in and come to your aid and help you. 
That is simply not true. The Lord will help all of us every time if we're willing to let him. We just need to let him, but he will be there for all of us. However, for those who put in the effort, their needs are always met, always. Our needs are met, yes, but our specific, what we want and what we require and ask for to a bigger degree if we are a diligent steward. If we put in the diligence and we're a good steward, then our needs are met even more. And the reason we can see that is because we have an increase in faith. Now that reward's not going to often look like what you think it might look like. And the way that it comes to you is probably not going to be what you think either. Um, but the increase in faith will be there and you will be able to see that and that's what you really need to focus on because the other things really are simply myopic to quote President Nelson again. They are short-sighted, they are of this moment only. Um, as incredibly difficult as they can be and infuriatingly unfair and, and that's what my talk is on Sunday but and well, by the time people watch this will be last week but yeah. So all of that taken into account and I'm not trying to take away from that feeling of just being overwhelmed and that it's a lot because it is and I'm totally there with you and I'm agreeing with you on that however what I'm saying and trying to point out in the best way I possibly can is that even if you give like that much effort and that's what you can give then that will be multiplied into amazing things and added upon because you put the effort in. That's all it is, really. You want to increase your faith. You put the effort in to be a good steward in whatever the Lord wants you to do. And that's going to make all the difference. You have to be perfect at it. It's not about being perfect. It's about putting the effort in. So, Sister Becky Craven. Now, she's an amazing, amazing person. She's on our General Young Women's Presidency. She's tiny, but she's really awesome. Um, she said... We must strive with all diligence to stay firmly on the path that leads us safely to the Saviour, widening the distance between our covenant living and worldly influences. And that's exactly what it is. Diligence will keep you firmly on the path that is going to be better for you rather than worldly influences. They will get further away, have less effect on you, so that those all those stresses and anxieties that come from the fear and the judgments of the world they're going to be so far away, they're not going to bother you so much, or at all. Doesn't that sound good? So that's in there as well. She's really right on that one, that if we stay diligently on that path, and it takes effort to do that. I'm not saying it doesn't. It's not easy all the time. The gloss of the world, it's pretty tempting. But if we can stay on that path and walk and work with Christ, we're going to be all the better for it, and it will increase our faith every time. All right, well, that's my thoughts for this week hope that wasn't too intense but all about walking working with the Lord um you know might not be your work plan you might not see the sense in it give it a shot anyway but thank you for being here we're again once over time so much once again over time but thank you I love you take care and I will see you next week for some more wonderful insights and just yeah love you guys be safe Mwah.